Today, an estimated 36 million people worldwide live with dementia. This figure is set to rise to 115 million by 2050. The most common cause of dementia is Alzheimer's disease, which affects both the connections between brain cells and the brain cells themselves. Eventually, symptoms of dementia appear, which become worse over time. A typical first symptom is memory loss, but inevitably, language, the ability to carry out everyday activities, and emotions are affected too. But while existing drugs mainly focus on the symptoms of Alzheimer's dementia, researchers are hopeful of finding a cure. Changes in the brain associated with Alzheimer's disease can be detected decades before symptoms appear. Researchers believe that early intervention and prevention before symptoms appear may be a more effective way to tackle the disease. In 2015, dozens of private and academic institutions joined forces to create EPAD, the European Prevention of Alzheimer's Dementia Research Project. EPAD has created a large Europe-wide register of people who are already participating in various national or regional research studies. Thousands will be invited to the EPAD cohort study for standardized tests and long-term follow-up. Their contributions will help researchers to gain deeper insights into factors that contribute to Alzheimer's dementia and to identify the earliest changes in the brain decades before dementia develops. If an EPAD participant shows early brain changes thought to be related to Alzheimer's disease, he or she may be invited to EPAD's special adaptive clinical trial. Traditional clinical trials typically focus on only one drug. That drug's performance is then compared with an inactive substance, also called a placebo. EPAD's adaptive trials, however, take a more efficient approach. They compare several drugs in parallel against a shared placebo. This way, we can learn much more quickly which treatments are working and which are not. Ineffective drugs can be identified more quickly and removed from the program. New drugs can be added to the trials at any time. Even combinations of drugs can be tested. Participants will be randomly assigned to either a placebo or to one of several new drugs that are being developed to prevent or delay the onset of Alzheimer's dementia. With this approach, EPAD participants have a higher likelihood of receiving an active treatment rather than a placebo. The flexibility and efficiency in the EPAD trial platform is key to finding an effective drug. Today, hope is even stronger. 37 dedicated partners are committed to overcoming Alzheimer's disease. Interested? Visit our website and follow us via Twitter or Facebook to track our developments. Thank you.